Hi, hope you've been well since we've last seen each other, or nice to meet you, I'm Stephanie. For today's flow, we'll maintain a flow on the floor, so a sequence um, only on the floor, so no standing postures. And um, all you need to matter, open space in yourself and an open mind as always. So find a comfortable seat, cross-legged if possible, otherwise however is most convenient for you, slide the skin up and away from the sit bones, allowing the sit bones to root into the ground, relaxing the hands in the lap, whoever is comfortable. Taking a moment to note where you're at today, what that means. Noting not only the pace of your breath or temperature of your breath, but the pace or temperature of your body or of your environment, of things that are moving around you or are still around you. Notice how you feel in your surrounding space. And however that is, whatever space it is that surrounds you, Try to close your space in, keeping your eyes closed, but closing your space in just towards your mat. What does the space around your mat or area where you're seated feel like? Can you create a smaller space in which you feel comfortable, maybe more safe? Can you imagine in this space that there's a little bubble in which you'll practice breathe and just be. Noticing the belly rise on the inhale. Air filling through the nose. On the exhale, belly contracting back to the spine, air releases through the nose. And continue that breath in and out through the nose, noting the rise on the inhale. On the inhale, belly comes up, and the fall on the exhale as the belly retreats back to spine. You can always add a slight constriction to the back of the throat by constricting the back of the throat, pulling the tongue down and backwards to create an ujjayi breath. That constriction will help to generate some more heat in the body, also remains a point of focus. And any breath in and out through the nose. That's just at a nice even pace. So the length of the inhale should be the length of the exhale. Continuing to find a breath that works for you as fast or slow as you like, so long as it's even. Add any constriction or not. Take three full breaths, filling on inhale. Releasing on exhale. Two more, a big breath in. Exhale, release. And one more breath in, sit taller. Exhale, release. Perfect. As you open the eyes, come over to a tabletop position, planting the hands so that the fingertips are spread out nice and wide. Wrists are gonna be right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips. I prefer to keep tops of my feet to the ground. Make sure the belly is nice and parallel to the ground, not dipping down or sinking in. Creating that staple base, you're elongating top of head towards tailbone or toes. Generating some warmth. Go ahead and lift the right arm parallel to the ground. If you have space and would like to lift the leg, you can lift the leg as well. Keeping the belly parallel to ground, pushing, reaching through the hand, maybe hand and foot. Go ahead and release that hand and foot if raised. And then lift the left arm parallel to ground and lifting right leg. And 
stable through the course and the breath. Exhale, releasing here. Inhale, the belly will dip down, the head and tailbone will lift, rising, chest expands as you gaze up. On the exhale, back will round, chin draws into chest. On the inhale, cow tilts, chest lifts, opens. On the exhale, back round, shoulder blades open. So begin to move through that flow at your own pace, allowing your movement to follow the breath. about three rounds or so. As you complete or curl to your cat position, curl the toes under, press up and back to a downward facing dog. Keeping the hands, hips, arms distance or shoulders distance apart, sorry, feet hips distance apart. You can keep a little bend to the knees if the legs aren't warm. We're looking for nice length from the arm and spine. Keeping the head relaxed towards the ground, shoulders softened from the ears, fingertips spread wide. Go ahead on the exhale, soften down to the knees, untuck the toes, draw with the arms all the way up overhead to a kneeling position, gazing up. And exhale, send palms to heart center. Shoulders stacked over hips, hips stacked over knees. Inhale and lengthen, look up. Exhale, come back to tabletop position. Walk the hands out this time towards melting heart or puppy. So your arms are extended. You've got a nice back bend and chest opening. The hips are directly over the knees. You can come down as low as comfortable. Some of you may allow your forehead to touch the mat. On the inhale, press back up to tabletop position. Cow tilts, head and hips rise, curl the toes under. Press back to downward facing dog. On the exhale, take three breaths. Hips press away from the hands. Hands firmly planted. On the exhale, soften down to the knees, untuck the toes, allow the arms to rise overhead, kneeling. And exhale, palms to heart center. Everything is stacked. From here, release the right arm out to the side. So you may need to bend the knees or just allow your body to come down a little bit. So right hand's going to come to the ground as the knees bend. Actually going to have you bring your right leg closer to the end of the right mat. You're going to extend that left leg out in front of you. So you'll look like this. Your left leg to the side. And then you're going to take a side stretch, bringing that left arm overhead. Lengthening the left side of body, sending the air to left side of body. Noticing the ribs cage expand on the inhale. And then releasing that arm, releasing both knees, so you're back in that kneeling position, sending both hands up on inhale. Exhale, palms come back down to the heart center. Bending over to put that left hand to the ground, walking left knee over to edge of mat, extending right foot out to the side, foot is flat on the ground, and then send that right arm overhead. Side stretch. Sending the air to the right side of the body. And then inhale back up to kneeling, sending both arms overhead. Exhale, both hands come to the ground. Walk out to that melting heart or puppy dog. Hips remain over the knees. Inhale up, tabletop position, cow tilts, head and hips lift. Exhale, round the back to cat. Come back to neutral tabletop position, curl the toes under, press back to downward facing dog. 
and then walk the feet towards the top of your mat or space. Just to a forward fold. So in that forward fold, you might keep a nice healthy bend to the knees. You can allow the elbows, grab the opposite elbows with each hand. You can sway side to side. You can be still. Just allowing like a rag doll, body to form. So if you're not in the center of your matter space, come back to the center of your matter space. From your forward fold, just bring your bottom down to the ground, kind of getting into a little ball, rounding the back here. So tailbone is pointing down. You're pulling the body into a nice little circle, again, creating that sense of space, knowing and controlling the space that's around you. Drawing to the chest. And then exhale, straighten the legs, lift the hips high, and fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, tuck in round, get small. Inhale. And exhale, hips lift, forward fold, legs straighten, head relaxes. Once more, lift halfway up, lengthen the spine, look ahead, exhale, fold and round, tuck into a ball, inhale, and exhale, hips high, forward fold, legs straighten. Walk the hands towards top of mat, walk the feet towards the back of the mat, towards downward facing dog. Here you'll keep the right hand connected to the mat, lift the left hand and bring it over towards your right leg, wherever you can connect. Maybe the shin. And then release the left hand to the top, right hand will cross over towards the left shin. Drawing navel in and up towards spine. And then releasing back to downward facing dog. Drop down to the knees, untuck the toes. Inhale up to that sort of kneeling position, arms overhead. And exhale, palms to heart center. From here, release the right hand to the side. That left foot out. And send the left arm overhead, side body stretch. Bring both knees back to kneeling. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, palms to heart to center. Release the left hand to the left side of mat. Extend the right leg out. Foot is to the ground, parallel to the mat. Right arm overhead. And release back to kneeling. Both arms up on inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Walk the hands back to the top of mat. Plus, press through all 10 fingers. Nice, even pressure through both hands. Curl the toes under and press up to a plank pose. So shoulders are over the wrists. Heels press away from the head. Gaze is neutral. Neck is long. Gaze is just down at the ground. Mat. And exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg skyward, and exhale, send right knee to chest or nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pulse in. Five more on your own. Lengthening on inhale, exhale. In. And that last and final time, pull the knee in and up towards the chest. And then release the knee to the ground, crossing over towards your half pigeon pose, coming down to the left knee and tucking the left toes. Stay in a supported pigeon though. So instead of allowing the upper body to release down, you're keeping supported with both arms up. You're making sure that the Hips are nice and level, that you're not rocking too much to one side or the other. 
And again, just noticing your space, noticing the pace of breath, noticing your desire to move in any different way. And then go ahead and release the elbows towards the ground if that's in your practice or it's comfortable. You can release the upper body all the way to the ground or you can remain lifted. If you are and the elbows are towards the ground, you can walk the hands over to one side, twisting that reclining pigeon. Sorry, reclining pigeon, rather sleeping pigeon. Filling on inhale, filling to capacity if you can. Exhale, releasing the air slowly. If you are twisted, go ahead and walk it over to the opposite side. To your sleeping pigeon. Taking three full breaths. back to the center, just lifting up from wherever you were to that supported place, curling the left toes under, sending the right leg skyward to downward facing dog. And then go ahead and just bend that right knee, opening the right hip. Trying to stack the right hip over the left, but making sure that the shoulders are parallel to the ground and the hands are nice and firm to the ground. You can make a few circles if you like. And then release back to downward facing dog. Lift that left leg on inhale. Pulse in, knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pulse in. And five more on your own, lengthening on inhale. Exhale, pulse in. When you come in, shoulders are over the wrists. Fifth and final, pull the knee in and up towards the chest. And then release that left foot across into your sleeping or half pigeon. So here the right foot comes behind, or left foot comes behind the right hand. Foot is kind of flexed. Right knee will touch the ground, right toes on top. Again, you're staying nice and level and supported, not rocking too much to one side or the other. If you are sitting on one butt cheek or side, you need to adjust a little bit so the hips are level to the ground. Of course, you may notice the difference between both sides. Again, take a moment to just note how the body feels, what your space feels like. If you are comfortable or it's in your practice, feel free to come down to the elbows or relax the body. We'll go ahead and take that twist, walking the hands over towards the left side. twisted walking over to the right side of course making sure you're only doing what's comfortable for you and your body taking a few breaths wherever you are to complete as you come back to the center you'll lift up from wherever you were to that Supported half pigeon, curl the right toes under, press through both hands, up to downward facing dog, three-legged dog, left leg lifts, and bend the left knee, open the left hip over the right. So as you do that, try not to let your whole body twerk or turn and let the right shoulder dip down. Both shoulders are parallel to the ground. Feel free to make circles if you like. 
and release back to downward facing dog. On your exhale, look ahead, bend the knees, take a hop towards the top with your space. Come up halfway on inhale. Lengthen, flatten the back. Exhale as you fold. And then go ahead and inhale and come up just to one chair pose, bending the knees, keeping the tailbone pointed down, and sending the arms high. Really, really low chair here. Agni, fire, warmth in the body. And the exhale, forward fold, straighten the leg. Inhale, halfway, flatten the back. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back to a plank position. Shift the shoulders forward over the wrist. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes here. Bring the arms behind you and interlace, interlacing all 10 fingers if you can or just grabbing opposite arm. If you cannot, feel free to keep the arms relaxed towards the ground. Either way, either bind, you're gonna engage the core, pulling the belly into the spine, lifting the upper chest, really extending that chest open if you have the bind with the hands, otherwise arms are parallel to ground. If there's no pain in your low back and you are comfortable here, neck stays ahead or gaze stays to the top of your mat, you can feel free to lift the toes off the ground as well. If you are lifting the toes, the knees or legs come together. You're lengthening head to toe. Breathing a smooth pace. One more breath. And then your exhale, just relax. Bring the arms up to a goal post or 90 degree. And then just turn your head to one side as you relax to this now. And then bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press right back up to a plank position, grilling the toes under. Drop down to the knees to a tabletop position. And then bring the left hand to the mat and we're going to come over to a side plank. So left hand the wrist is right under the left arm. You can keep both feet at the end of the mat. You can keep your left leg to the ground for more support. If your both feet are at the end, you can also lift your top leg for additional challenge. Picking the side plank that works for you, any of the above. Wherever side plank you are, release your left knee to the ground so it's cutting across, cutting your mat in half. Lift that right leg, bend the right knee, bring that right hand behind to grab the outside of the right foot. You're pressing the right foot back up and away into the hand. Lengthen dancer pose. Finding a nice opening in the hip, a stretch for the quad. Keeping the core firm, belly pulled into the spine. And then releasing back to a full plank position. Both hands to the ground, heels press away from the head. Root the right hand to the ground. Right under the shoulder, you can keep both feet to the end of the mat. You can lift one top leg. You can bring the right knee to cut across. So any variation, both for a few moments. And then from wherever you are, release the right leg to the ground, to the mat, so it's cutting across the mat into two pieces, top and bottom. Engage the core, bend that left leg, reaching that left arm around to grab the outside of the left foot. And pushing back up and away. Smooth breath. And then releasing right back to a full plank. Shoulders over the wrists, press the heels away from the head. Exhale, downward facing dog. Relax the shoulders, neck, 
side jaw. Come back down to a kneeling position, untuck the toes, inhale the arms all the way overhead, exhale palms to heart center. Go ahead and just come into a crossed, cross-legged seat, face you for those purposes. Go ahead and pull the right foot into the groin and tuck the, and tuck the skin away from the sit bones behind you. Keeping that left leg long, left leg is connected to the ground, left toes are skyward. Inhale to find length and exhale as you fold over that left leg, keeping the leg connected to the ground. Even though your hands are connected, you're pulling, or when you start pulling, the shoulders tense up, so you're really relaxing, softening the shoulders, allowing your body, the top of the body, to come towards the lower body as much as you like. Take five full breaths, try not to rush. Notice your space. You inhale to come back up, pull that left foot into the groin this time, extend the right leg out, right leg's connected, right toes skyward. Again, then tuck that skin from the sit bones, lift on inhale, and exhale, forward fold. Note the difference between two sides. Note if your space feels the same or different different from the opposite leg, different from your last few poses, different from how you came to your mat or practice today. Keep the shoulders and jaw relaxed. Inhale, lift back up, and then just bring the legs towards the center, give them a little wiggle. And keep the feet extended towards the end of the mat, keeping the feet planted and knees above the feet as you lay down. Lying on the back, here you'll make sure the sacrum or low backbone is connected to the ground. The heels are under the feet and or will be, so feet are hips distance apart, a few inches below the bottom. Fill a belly on inhale. And exhale, press into all spaces of the feet. Big toe, lift the hips and bottom skyward. So here you wanna kinda of keep the glutes relaxed a little. You're really working with the inner thighs. Inner thighs squeeze towards each other. Keep your hands connected to the ground. If you are comfortable, you can untuck one shoulder or lift one shoulder and tuck it underneath. So you're propping the body up and you can also interlace the fingers underneath if that works. Only if that's comfortable and there's no issues in the shoulder or neck. Although here, you're, it's nice that you can support more with the shoulders rather than the neck. Again, notice the glutes. Let them be a little bit loose. Use the inner thigh instead. Imagine there's a block in between your knees that you're squeezing to hold in place. Noticing the freedom in the front of your body. As you exhale, slowly release back down to the ground. Just relax here for a moment, keeping the back connected to ground, low back sacrum. Knees are still facing the sky. And then go ahead and pull the knees towards the chest, wrap the hands around the shins. Find your rock side to side to massage the low back, kidneys, adrenal glands.
Go ahead and just kindly drop both knees over to your right side. Allow the arms to open to a T, gaze to come to your left side. You inhale, slowly bring both knees back to the center, wrapping hands around shins. Just rocking a few times side to side before you allow the knees as they're bent to drop over to the left side of body, arms to a T, gazes to the right. Just relax the body, allow gravity to assist in your twist, not to push or force or control anything. Notice if the lack of pushing, controlling, or forcing changes your space. Back on inhale, bring both knees to the chest, wrap the hands around the shins. Give yourself a hug. And then release the legs to the ground. The arms can just relax at your sides. Allow the ankles to fall open wide. Hands to relax in any place that's comfortable. Keeping the palms facing up will offer a more receptive feeling. Or to feel more centered or grounded in your space, you can place the hands on the belly or the heart, anywhere on the body or facing down towards the ground. The eyes will be closed. Try to relax the muscles in the face and the jaw, the space between the eyebrows, the toes, the kneecaps. Creating the tiniest little space between both lips. Allowing the air to come and go on its own. Slowly start to deepen the breath, adding some length to the inhale and length to the exhale. Maybe beginning to move the fingers or toes. Stretching the arms overhead. Slowly releasing the hands to the ground.
ground, keeping the eyes closed, and just slowly finding your way up to a seat. Come back to a cross-legged seat or any other seat that's comfortable, keeping the shoulders stacked over the hips and the hands relaxed. Lap. And again, I invite you to just notice the space. Notice what the body feels like. Notice how the breath moves. Notice the space within your body that you've created, creating greater space. And notice if you don't feel any different in the space that surrounds you. Kindly bring both palms to the heart center, connecting the thumbs to the heart, lowering the head to the hands, honoring your practice and the time you make for yourself. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Thank you. And should you ever like a personalized sequence created for you, please leave a comment below or feel free to contact me at yoga at stephaniegerwitz.com. Thank you.